December 2, historical persons present at the judgment. I have sworn by myself that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, In the Lord have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incense against him shall be ashamed. Isaiah 45, 23, and 24. Amid the ransom throng are the apostles of Christ, the heroic Paul, the ardent Peter, the loved and loving John, and their true-hearted brethren, and with them the vast host of martyrs, while outside the walls with every vile and abominable thing are those by whom they were persecuted, imprisoned, and slain. There is Nero, that monster of cruelty and vice, beholding the joy and exaltation of those whom he once tortured and in whose extremest anguish he found satanic delight. His mother is there to witness the result of her own work, to see how the evil stamp of character transmitted to her son the passions encouraged and developed by her influence and example have borne fruit in crimes that caused the world to shudder. There is the proud, ambitious Napoleon, whose approach had caused kingdoms to tremble. There are papists, priests, and prelates, who claimed to be Christ's ambassadors, yet employed the rack, the dungeon, and the stake to control the conscience of his people. There are the proud pontiffs who exalted themselves above God and presumed to change the law of the Most High. Those pretended fathers of the church have an account to render to God from which they would fain be excused. Too late they are made to see that the omniscient one is jealous of his law and that he will in no wise clear the guilty. They learn now that Christ identifies his interest with that of his suffering people, and they feel the force of his own words, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew 25:40. The whole wicked world stand arraigned at the bar of God on the charge of high treason against the government of heaven. They have none to plead their cause, they are without excuse, and the sentence of eternal death is pronounced against them.